Hi. You know, sometimes I just can't believe how stupid Democrats are. When I heard the press conference that Josh the Idiot Ernest had, and he was talking about the $10 a barrel tax that Obama wants to put on crude oil, and he said that, like, you know, we knew that when we did this that the Republicans would immediately run to the defense of the big oil companies. It's like, uh, idiot, you know, I know you're preaching to the choir, but sometimes it's amazing how ridiculously stupid your choir is. Who do you think is going to pay that tax? Do you think that the oil companies are going to dig into their profits and pay that tax? Anyone with half a brain realizes that they're going to pass that tax onto the consumer and it's just going to be reflected at the gas pump. You know, when we were out driving around, my wife and I are like, wow, look at the gas prices. You know, we were paying like over $4 a gallon at one time for gasoline. And uh, last week it was down to $1.27 a gallon. And I told my wife, don't worry, our federal government will figure out a way to fix it. They'll figure out a way to get the prices back up. And you know the easiest way for the government to get the prices back up is to start taxing it some more. And that's exactly what Obama wants to do, is tax crude oil at $10 a gallon. And for all you loony Democrats back there, some of whom I have my own family, which I hate to admit, you're going to pay it. You know, Josh, the idiot Ernest is like, oh, well... Um, you know, those millions of dollars in lobbying that the, lo that the oil companies paid for lobbyists really paid off, you know, because they're lobbying for the oil companies. And then when the reporter asked him, well, isn't it likely that uh, the oil companies will pass on those costs to the consumer? Josh Ernest is like, uh, yeah, that is likely. You know, I just don't know what else to say. All I can say is, you better start waking up, America. We have an election coming up. We have a Supreme Court justice that hopefully our Senate will have enough you-know-whats to put off to the new president. We cannot afford a Hillary Clinton or a Bernie Sanders. They will destroy this economy. They will put the last nail in the coffin. We need to stand up. We need to stand up and say, enough is enough. This is Jeff Haynes with My Two Common Sense. Make sure you check down underneath for, you know, the Twitter account, the website, the whatever. It's all down underneath. Thanks.